The zero? Yeah. Been growing out of my beard too. I got like some beard oil. Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah. I'm gonna re I'm gonna have everything stocked up. Nice. I gotta make one more order after your haircut. Nice. I ordered like thousands in half of it. Damn. And what, you're gonna keep styling it like forward and everything? Like your hair, or how are you gonna comb it? Um, yeah, probably just like messy forward, probably. Yeah, I'll probably sick for this. Oh, yeah. That's why I'll, I'll bump that texture and I'll make sure to have it. Yeah, I think uh, we did this like a while back. It looked fucking clean. So, yeah, I got your watch. I know, I'm like, I'm kind of want to grow my hair, hair out, maybe after this haircut. So, um, yeah, I want long hair again, but. Just the in-between phase is fucking rough. But I mean, I, I wear my hair up a lot when it is out, so you can always clean it up with, you know, the drop fade or taper. I feel like how that looks. Like the undercut. Chess board. Do you play a lot of chess? Yeah. Do you? A little bit. Recently, I've been trying to get into it. Oh, really? Yeah. Sick. Watch. You should also watch, brother. I'll play you anytime. And the other thing too is, uh, fucking watch. You you'll see the chess board I'm getting and the chess table and setup and everything. I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. Uh -huh. Like I'm getting a pro board. Oh yeah. This is a this is a tournament one, but I'm getting that wooden tournament one that you could you have the timer and everything. Oh fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's there's no intimidation with the timer it literally like when you press the timer my time begins when i press it your time begins right. that that's all it is I love that shit. yeah watch that way it's like fucking and then you know i might buy a new store location and oh yeah i might i might not I, I really like it here so i don't want to but i might have to so it's true it'd be cool to keep both you know yeah, and see, but either way though, I want to have a chest spot for sure. Right. That way it's, you know what I mean, fucking, and if I have a bigger environment, I'll have it to where we're fucking smoking and we're playing chess, and it's oh, like, yeah. it would have to be away from the, you know, cutting, only because of all the cops I have, but I'm saying I wouldn't, it's legal, it's like, right. shit, if you had a big old spot, and like you had a, another room, like way in the, you know, you right. come back in here, and then it's like a chest room that's graffiti all over the place, and then it has a sick hole. I would order one of those, uh, instead of getting a table, I'd order one of those pieces of stone from New York. That's oh, sitting dude. fucking, and have that fucker in there that way, you know, and then have two Gucci chairs or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, you just go show up there and then you could sit and then it's like that stone. Fuck and yeah. then if you're in there, you can do whatever you want. That's it's like a fucking, a secret room. Like a in the room. sense that they could gamble, they don't have to gamble, you could smoke weed, yeah. you, can, you can do anything you want to do. That's it. It's, it's, it's a no, there's a no speaking policy. It's like fucking, you know what I mean? Right. It's, nobody, it's like shit. Fuck yeah. Start uh -huh. fucking around with the chest. It's like <laughs> right? Yeah, I banged out a bunch of games the day before yesterday, and I banged out a couple yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, who are you playing? Uh, just the homie that works next door and everything. Oh, nice. And then one of the clients, and then one of the other homies that's cutting hair. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a fun game. I really love it. I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> yeah. I have a uh, chess.com, so. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. It's, I have it on my phone, so. Uh... Oh, that's sick. No way. And so, how does that work? So basically just make an account and you could play either your homies and you could play them like over like seven day period, three day period, said well whatever time, you know what I mean? Well why only like that? Well you could play it like uh ten minute games like if you're like uh you know there and you wanna play each other real quick. You know what I mean? Uh ten minute games. You could play three minute games, um 
But yeah, um, can you play a game that's just a game, or I mean, like? Well, with the seven minute game, um, it just you have seven minutes to respond. Or, I'm sorry, seven days to respond. Oh wow. So yeah, so like homie could take his time, you know. If you. Oh, I see what you're saying. I get yeah. it. So it's like kind of slower, you know what I mean? That's too slow. I yeah. Mean, but I mean, it's cool because I have like four or five games open at the same time. I'm playing all the homies and shit. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yeah. But, and can you play Strangers and everything? Or? Right, yeah. So Same. I've been doing a lot of three-minute online matches. Um, and it's just like random people and you're rated. So you play people similarly rated to you. Fucking Magnus. Uh, uh, Magnus Carlson or whatever. Yeah, that's what's crazy. What is he, like number one in the world, right? I think so. Oh. Fuck. I don't understand because it's like so simple, but you can be so good at this game to where you can play it at such a high level and be fucking world renowned for it, you know what I mean? Very good. And do you look at the chessboard like there's patterns there or not really? Um, so I look at the center four squares for sure, and then I see the, the outer. Um, squares, you know what I mean? The center box and the outer box. Oh, so you do pay attention to that? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, basically, I feel like if you control the center, you're kind of dominating the game. I like to watch like the old chess games like way back in like 19th century type shit. Sure. I've never seen that. I'm gonna watch that as soon as you're gone. Yeah. There's some pretty interesting ones. There's like a... Uh, I forgot some name. On YouTube or what? Yeah, on YouTube. Sure. They break them down. But they do like, there's a lot of sacrificing, you know what I mean? Sacrificing like queens, sacrificing uh... But, but it, like for, for the better good of what? For, yeah, checkmate, basically. Is that what they're going for? Or? Yeah, so exactly. So then they have a sacrificing style? Yeah, it's like... All well, of them back then, or just like certain fools? Um, Just like, mostly like the top people. Like oh, they, so they were sacrificing then. Yeah. See, so that's all good to study and know. Right. Just saying, because a lot of people don't want to sacrifice any pieces. Right. I mean, obviously, if you're sacrificing to be able to do something, but I'm just saying... Like if you're sacrificing right off the rip, too, that could be its own strategy. Right. Yeah, homie, bro, it's crazy how fast they, de like, develop their pieces and fucking lock in. They know exactly what they're doing, you know? Well, because there's only so many ways to get started and to have, you know what I mean? There's right. only so many moves you can do. That's what I'm saying. In the beginning. That's so it's like you kind of already know the beginning. Don't you notice in the beginning you're moving quick? Yeah. Like, right? I mean, you move fairly quick in the beginning and then right. it starts to slow down. Right, and then you're like, hmm. Yeah, then it starts to get to that point. But, you know, like, all those other guys, they're they're at that height, you know, they've done it too many times. It's like me cutting hair. Right. They know, like, every opening and every possibility. Of that yeah. Hair. So um, they've seen it before. So when exactly. you move there, they already know where to... Exactly. It's on that type of... These clippers have fucking 31 minutes remaining. Am I gonna be able to do it? I think so. Battery life? Yeah. Damn, that's what I'm gonna be running them for all day. And some yesterday.
Wait, and so where is this dispensary located at? Um, Elevated? So we don't have any storefronts, we just wholesale. It oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sick. That's pretty cool. Except, uh, I feel like if we were to have a storefront, we'd probably do pretty good. Because we, like, have our uh, wax and everything at, like, a really, like, pretty, pretty decent uh, cost. Probably, nice. like, $30 a gram. Oh, wow around there and for like some really high quality type shit, you know what I mean? And that's a very good price in the sense of, you know, a lot of these places are selling it for 50, 60 bucks. Oh, fuck yeah. Exactly, yeah, our wax, they mark it up to like 50, uh, I think it's like $58 a full gram. Wow. Which is very expensive, especially after you tie. You're paying like 60 something after you tie. Jeez. I have to show you this live resin I got. It's really Sick. solid. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, Finally got the Puffco Pro. My oh, peak, nice. yeah, my peak fucked up on me, so I went with the Pro. But I love the Pro, dude. Pro yeah, is, I had that one. You got, but you got oh, the yeah. cool one, right? The Guardian Edition. The one, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Guardian Edition. My homie actually has that. He's all fucking hyped on it. Watch. This is the... Let's see what happens. Yeah, This is the one I have right here. Oh, okay, okay. That's sick. Damn, that's clean. Have you seen the new glass on it? The uh -huh. like, uh. Nah, this is the homie next door that has this one over here. Watch, you gotta meet him. Yeah. Dude, he told me to go get on the website though and look at the new Puffco and see what they have. They have new shit. And oh, bro. So I gotta get on there and bust uh -huh. an order. Yeah, they got this one glass. Um. Bro, it looks like a jetpack. That's all I can say. It looks Sick. fucking crazy. Oh, I've seen that actually. Yeah, with the like, uh, vortex kind of. Yeah. That shit's crazy. Recycler, I should say. I wonder how that one is. That one was kind of expensive too. It, in stores, it's two fifty. Oh, that's not bad. But bro, we get a discount on it since like we, our boss has a uh, like we go through Fre Fresh Fix. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're like a wholesaling here in town. And uh, you basically get a hundred dollars off. So in stores it's two fifty. We get it for one fifty. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. So you like that? I got the wireless charger for mine because uh, my shit, it, like, the port doesn't charge anymore. Because I was charging it in my car, right? Yeah. And I guess that fucks it up. So I had to get the wireless charger. And uh, in stores, that was one twenty, and I got it for like eighty dollars. So. For the wireless charger? Yeah. Sick. That's like a good discount. Fuck oh, oh, yeah, dude. You kidding me? That's insane. So I was like, yeah. I'll take that any day. So Absolutely. this, yeah, this Friday we're gonna put in an order, again, for. Um, I'll probably get the crazy ass glass again. Hopefully, if they have it. but I can get you after this if you want to. But these are the prices for Steve and C, just to see if you have any interest. Okay, thank you. All right, appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, you too. Yeah, that's another big reason I don't, I don't do the walkings because it's like number one you haven't seen the pricing you probably think it's an in and out right you know service or whatever yeah and you're probably pretty booked up too i feel like i'm always booked up it's yeah. like, oh, especially yeah. in the afternoon like right now i'm on my lunch break oh sir yeah so it worked out perfect i'm trying so i have like an hour for lunch Cause one time I learned, I learned the price thing too. Cause one time, uh, someone came in and it was like, they were probably looking for something quick. I cut their hair and then, you know, they probably did, you know, they were like, oh shit. When they saw the price, it was like, I mean, I don't know what they expect though, but it's like. Yeah, they just 
probably want to like here, here's 20 bucks. That's yeah, fucking much. Yeah. I mean, I could give you that kind of haircut, but I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, right. You want to put out the quality, right? And that shit, obviously, costs money. And I look at it like I'm right there in line with the other people that do what I do. You know, it's like fucking... Like, I'm not the highest out here, which is good. Like, you've got Steel Blade Men's Salon or whatever. They, I think they charge, like... They're, like, they're still a little, like, five bucks ahead of me or whatever. Or they, I think they're, like, 50 they start off for a haircut. And the haircut's way better here, so it's really true. Sure. Yeah, um... I think I've been there a couple years ago. It was, like, 55 just to even fucking fuck a, uh, yes. a fucking appointment. And then... There's a cancellation fee. Yeah, see, I don't have any of that here. So up. my thing with it is, dude, if they want to cancel, cancel. They'll probably they'll probably reschedule. If they don't want to reschedule, who cares? Yeah. Someone will pop in. Someone will pop in there for sure. Right. And, and if, so it's like, if that just seems money hungry to me. It's like yeah, I don't like fools to do that. Right. I won't shop with you if it's like you take my credit card up front or. Right, yeah, it's like, bro. I don't want to, what if I can't make the appointment? Now right. you're giving me anxiety that I got to pay for it and I ain't making It's like, I'm not paying that much, dude, yeah. for an appointment I didn't make. Yeah. And even if you were to try to steal 20 bucks to me, I'd be jaded. Yeah. Because it would be like, damn, really, dude? Like, dude, I didn't show up, you didn't do anything. And there's a deposit, but you got to right. keep the money. Right. Temperatures are heading down right. from 46 to 29 you, degrees. You already tonight. fucking paid your, yeah, that's some bullshit. <clears throat> And honestly, yeah, it wasn't, like, nothing crazy. Like, fucking, they take you to the restroom real quick, make you fucking give you the option to take your shirt off and, like, switch into a fucking robe or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I heard about that, dude. Someone told me about that exact thing. So, really, I look at it like, okay, hey, you want to put a robe on? You, you fucking, you want to get a back massage or whatever it is? It's it's like the haircut's going to suck, but it's like, whatever it is you want, put a, throw a robe on, or you get the robe on. It's, yeah. This is the price. It's yeah. like fucking, you know, and you can, without the robe, you can have an elite haircut and, you know, save some money or whatever it is. And right, so no, yeah, it was just like fancy, like too fancy. It was too fancy and then also uh, the haircut wasn't good. Right. That's the part where it's like, dude, I don't want to be over finessed and the haircut's not good. Right. Now the haircut was complete fire and then still the, for me, I don't have the time to jump in a robe and do all that other. Right. And, and then I don't want you to beg me to buy her product and everything else. And, all right. <laughs> and then, yeah, after he was done, he's all, he walked me over to the fucking uh, ATM thing. He's all, so did you, like, he was expecting a tip, you know what I mean? Jeez. Obviously, but, like, he was like. Well, you can't expect one. Sorry, right. dude. And then you're not allowed to expect a tip. That, right. That's not fucking. If you do, you're an idiot. Yeah. I mean, you can, but it's like fucking, if you're living off of, raise the bar of your haircut. Right. It you was want already, to see the tip go up, yeah. show the haircut. True, true. It's already, bro, you charged me $55 for this fucking haircut. Like, it wasn't anything crazy. You fucking put a hot towel on my face. It didn't do anything crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I got a lot of their clients, which so I'm kind of happy about that for sure. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people here that... Hey, shout out to Blade Men's Salon. Thank you for all the customers. It's like, I swear to God, though, it's like, there's been a lot of people from there that come here. Yeah. And I think it's a name Men's Salon is why they do it. Mm -hmm. You know, something to do with over there. They went there and then they figured, oh, let's show this spot out here. Right. It's like, I don't even drink. I don't want motherfuckers drinking over here. It's like, fucking. Right. Someone accidentally gets a DUI on the way home and you're suing me. It's like, fuck that. Yeah, it's a tough... Uh, brings well, for their location, since it's so big and grand and everything, they can serve a drink. You know, yeah. they doesn't... But out of here, it would, it would be weird. You're right. <laughs> it's like, nah, that's not... Tracks the wrong people. I don't need... To, exactly, dude. That's the, I love how you said that. That's exactly what it really is. Yeah. Oh, you should have beer in here. Well, you're the motherfucker that has no money. You want you want to hang out all fucking day and, and you're probably already drunk. Yeah. It's like nah, dude. I don't service the people I have though. I'm probably in direct competition with Steel Blade because I think they have high end clients too or whatever. For sure. So it's probably just me and them that have like ultra high end clients out here. Right. Because I keep noticing the guys that come from over there. They come here. They're pretty high end. Right. 
like oh, you sure. and everyone else. Well, I look at it for me. So I don't have hair, but if I had hair like yours, I'm not going to a regular place, dude. No, just because number one, I don't want the vibe of that weird shit. I don't, dude, I don't want to be, I need to be respected. It's like, plus like, I want to go in somewhere that's cost a little bit to make sure they have the right shit. Right. Scissors and everything else. That way it's fucking. You know you're getting your good hair. Yeah. So it's like, I, I like all the guys that go to Stillblade just because I say that those are all, those are all good clients. Right. Those are all clients that they don't mind spending it, but they need to see the value in it. For sure. That's why my prices aren't as high as theirs because I don't even see the value in that. Right. You know, and I'm not doing towels and all those tricks. I'm, I'm just like, here, look, let me bust their haircut out super elite. But then also not to mention, um, you know, they can get a shave, you know, whatever right. they want. It isn't going to be overdone to where it's just some kind of fake shave of sauce and this and that. It's going to be actual, just an elite shave. Right. That's where, like, with uh, that, niche, that niche one, obviously, a little bit different and everything. I don't know, if I move to another place, you know, buy a building and it's, the only place where I'd move is if it's way better than here. Yeah. So, or I'd never, but I'm saying either way, if I stay here or whatever it is, it's, uh, I want to get some new barber chairs and redecorate and do all that. Right. Just keep it, keep it going. I'm in a house because I just ordered a ton of hair product because I'm sponsored by a couple of companies. Right. Shout out Hans DeFuco and 1821. But I'm going to house all their shit in that shelf and then have it, you know, completely full. But my, my thing is this. I don't get anything. So to me, I don't care if they buy it or not. My thing is genuinely, I style with those two products because they're the best of the best. Right. And so it's like, uh, and fucking, so it's like uh, guys like 1821 the best pomades you can buy on the planet hardly any left here's uh hans de fuco modifying pomade the other best pomade you can buy this one smells fresh this one smells uh tobacco -y. uh you know that's the only difference watch you smell this one that's so that's that it one. does smell smoky yeah and then see if someone doesn't want that type of smell they can sweeter i like the sweeter yeah. smell myself but they're both fire you're right and so it's kind of like, damn, you know what I mean? It's fucking, and since I style with them anyway, like at the end of the cut, I always say, oh, when you, you want something in your hair, and I pop it in. So I, I, I just figure if someone wants it, now we have it. Where right. the, they can't get it other than they're online. Oh, really? I'm the only one that has it in person. So it's like. Oh, shit. How much do uh, one of those jars go for? I think they're 24 or 22. They're expensive, but they're the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. So it's like fucking, and that's why I say it's like, uh, and I don't have any for sale yet, but I just ordered some. But I'm saying it's like, uh, you know, after I get done styling with them, they see everything and they're like, fuck. And they're like, what, what is that that you put on my hair? It's right here. Oh, yeah. And so you don't need to, oh, it's right here. Would you like to buy one? Even if it's, you know, <laughs> this is what I put in your hair. It's right here. Yeah. If they can put two and two together and they want to buy it, then they can buy it. Like, you know, they, ju they just ask what it is. They can ask what it is because there's many ways of, of retrieving it. They might have an Amazon gift card right. that they're using. So, right. you know. It's like having a, a, you know, even a sea salt for your hair. It's like just having high-end products that you, you know what I mean? Right. Believe in that that product company gave you a wholesale price. So, of course, I can make something. But it's, uh. Because when I first started like hairstyling out here and I'd style someone's hair of sick texture, 
and then blow dry style it, they would be like, oh fuck, they're like, what is that that you used in my hair? And I would drop those bottles all day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't really get shit except for from like Walmart unless you're ordering it online. That's what I'm saying. I'll be yeah. the only one with all that. And... Fuck yeah. I have been looking for a new one. I've been using some fucking it's pretty shitty. It's like too thick, honestly. It's like some pomade shit. But what do you, do you like a pomade or? Um, I kind of. Or do you like a paste or a clay? What do you like, matte or shiny? I, I like mattes. Okay, yeah. so we'll stay away from the pomade for you. Do you like something with a with a heavier hold or something with a lighter hold? Kind of like medium, I think. All right, sick. I got something for you. I'll drop up something in it after this and oh, see yeah. if we take it on the test run and everything. Okay. Because that's really, what, you know, it's like for either way, we put shit in the hair. I don't know if it would be fight or not. It's, you know, as long as they want something in the hair. If they right. don't... They, Cause you say men's salon, all right, we'll put something in his hair. Yeah, true. Put his shit together. It's like fucking, you're supposed to be a, a, above a barber shop. It's like, show me that you're above. What makes you above a barber shop? Dyson blow dryer, thousand dollars shears, 30 years experience. I style the hair. Fuck yeah. And then I, you know, and, and every haircut is custom. Right. None of it's, you know, none of it's standard or any of that. It's all fucking. There's a new barber here now. I have someone working here. Oh yeah? Yeah. And he and he's interning here. His name's Pat. He he's good, dude. He's gonna be fucking the lead. Okay. Once I get done with him. Fuck yeah. He'll be able to learn directly from me. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Now, you know, a long time ago, brother, like Diego Sanchez, you a shout out to not only fucking uh he had said, uh TJ, stop looking for these barbers that are already barbers. Dude, teach one. Yeah, okay. Show them how to fucking. Let's you're gonna see. have to. Yeah, you kind of uh, feel like people they go to school or whatever, and they have uh, they develop bad techniques or bad habits, and it's tough to break. Someone's a home grower. He doesn't really know how to grow like you do. Yeah. Yeah, look at someone. See, there's, it's like nuts. He doesn't really know how to grow. Oh. So it's like, but he thinks he knows how to grow. Oh, yeah. It's like, nah, you're probably going to just go out and puke someone. Yeah. <laughs> just because you're on fire with it. Right. You, you know what you're doing. Right. But the proof is in the pudding. You have that fire. So I believe everyone knows you know what you're doing. Right. There's no question about it. There was some homie that went next door had some straight up gas. Because okay. they get a bunch of people that will come in and give them samples. And, right. You know, that way they can fuck with them. Right. And this homie came in with some fucking gas. And he was like, he had little jars that showed the terpenes. And he's all, look at the terps. And did the walk off fucking. <laughs> that homie knew his shit was like. Yeah. He knew it was literally. Hell yeah. I was like, damn. Huh. Fucker had fucking pounds of crumble. Oh yeah! Oh, and wax and shit. Yeah, but, yeah, cr and crumble. Oh wow! Wax. Yeah, hell yeah. I didn't even see. Anything. Yeah, we just uh, apparently got a new machine. It was like half a million dollars just for the fucking really? machine. Yeah, it's like it's like super new technology. Uh, like um, by Luna. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it's like we got their second machine they ever made. Or whatever. Sick, dude. Yeah. That's actually sick. Hold on. Yeah. We're about to fucking... I think they're trying to process, like, their goal is a thousand pounds of biomass a day. Oh, wow. Try to extract that much a day. That's beautiful. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think right now we're probably, like, uh... Probably, like, 500 a day. Then you have a very cool job in the sense of, like, you can actually do what you like. Yeah. If you're not stuck fucking adhering to any crazy program all right yeah our company's super chill i'm like like i said we get an hour for lunch i got a grill there i just like oh no them. way sick dude yeah. damn that's fucking fire right i just bring like uh i think yesterday we made uh chicken fajitas damn dog you're, you're living the fucking <laughs> life that's sick dude hell yeah 
And then, yeah. Whoa, whoa, do you have an Instagram or? Yeah, yeah. Shout it out. Let this um, go follow you. Fuck, what is it right now? I think I change it all the time. I think it's Diggy420X. There you guys or, go. Probably, yeah. One of those two. It was hydroponic healing for a while. Sick. But I got all my weed shit on there. And I'm Thomas Baca Barber. Make sure to fucking follow me. I'll see if you follow me or not. Or you could subscribe to the channel. That would be sick. Oh yeah, I could see that too if you do that. Okay. I'm boring on Instagram, guys. Just follow me on here. Yeah. What are you streaming on? Yeah, uh, just a uh, YouTube video. Oh, nice. Wait, did you know that I had a YouTube channel? No. Oh yeah, sick. I have a YouTube channel. I'll be monetized in the next 90 days. Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate you. Oh, fuck yeah. And sorry for getting copyrighted in Russia. <laughs> How'd you do that? Uh, something was on in the background or something was said. There was something where they copyrighted me just in Russia. Wow. Like, I'll show you on my thing. That's where I was like, oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> like, the video is still running, so it's good for out here, but I'm copyright in Russia. Huh. So, like, it won't publish in Russia. Yeah, they have, like, fucking, like, what is it? I wonder why, now I'm weirded out because it's Russia. That's a weird thing. I wonder why that is. That's crazy. Oh no shit. You are, you're banned in Russia somehow. It's like, Fucking Russia. that video, not me. Hey Russia, shout out. I didn't do anything to you. It was like. Shout out Putin. Yeah, god damn, that is fucking. <laughs> You accidentally, we said that and then you accidentally go to Russia and it's like fucking, you get off the plane, they're like fucking, he knows it's us, it's like shit. Come with me. That's fucking hate. Guys, mid hold, matte finish, hands to Fugo, sponge wax. And look, just probably, you know, that amount, dime size amount. See, that's why I wanted to fuck with both of them because this one right here works sick. And you know, I watch it. This is how I get my hairstyle. So I'm really focusing on this shit for sure. Like, I want to take this to the. This is what I was passionate about in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Like, it was just being different. Like, everyone had a haircut. I wanted to do, create like a fucking sculpting of like a hairstyle. Like, you know what I mean? Just okay. something different, dude. It's Bro, I've been into that futuristic shit too, so. Sick, that's what I'm all about. Someone shit on me because they sent me an email off YouTube. Shout out to whoever this is. And you know who you are. And then they said, oh yeah, you should use Osters. I said, I don't use anything on a fucking cord, dude. Yeah. That true. shit's outdated. I'm into the new school barbering. Fuck yeah. See how that is? It's fucking clean. You oh, have yeah. sick hair too. That's without a doubt. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit of wave for sure. That's fucking clean, brother. Oh, you like it? Fucking love it. Sick. <laughs>